Linus Tech Tips coverage of Computex 2013 is powered by Western Digital. Our trusted gaming gear partner is Corsair Vengeance, and our trusted retail partner is NCIX.com. Guys, it's still Computex 2013 for some reason. I guess it's because it's not over yet. And we are here in the ASRock booth where I am holding a motherboard that looks pretty much like any other motherboard except for the uh, very outrageous color scheme as well as some, you know, water cooling barbs here on the VRM cooling solution and all that kind of cool stuff. You got four PCI Express 16X graphics cards. Oh, wait, what's that? Hold on a minute. Come over here. Come have a closer look. What is this? All right, now I have long said that every motherboard needs to have a matte black PCB. I now officially have to take that back because the glossy black PCB on the ASRock OC Formula Z87 board enables it to actually be waterproof. They have a live demo here with this system running, this video demo right here of the board receiving its conformal coating. See, check that out and they have that demo running on a computer that has water running over it. This is absolutely freaking unbelievable. And what you might think to yourself is, well, why do I need uh, a, a, a liquid proof motherboard? I can think of a couple reasons. Number one is extreme overclocking. So this board actually comes with a little, a little Nick Shi right there, little Nick Shi signature. So he is a very famous overclocker. He's got his designed by badge on this board. When you are extreme overclocking, it is incredibly important to avoid condensation. Condensation can destroy your motherboard if you're not using a Z87 OC formula because wetness can become conductive very, very quickly. Boom, zap, it's dead. So for extreme overclocking where condensation's an issue, then this is very beneficial. Now I can even think of applications that this might be awesome that aren't extreme extreme overclocking, such as liquid cooling. If you're worried about, oh, a pipe burst somewhere and you get some water on your board, don't worry about it with this board. You can actually, I mean, I don't, I still don't really recommend it, you know, firing it right up because the water might have gotten on something else, but you won't have to worry about your motherboard at all. It's got a bunch of other cool features, including, check this out, a status OLED display. Gone are the days, evidently, of just like two little sort of, you know, single digit things next to each other. Now you can monitor things like temperature as well as base clock and all that kind of cool stuff right on the motherboard itself. You've also got onboard switches, dual BIOS, dual USB 3 ports over there at the front, onboard overclocking switches as well as voltage checkpoints right there at the back behind the 24 pin connector. And check this out. This is a feature that's going to be very beneficial for guys like gamers, guys who have a secondary gaming system that they want to hook up to their monitor. So for a long time companies like BenQ have been releasing monitors that have multiple inputs such as DVI and HDMI or dual HDMI so you can easily run both your computer and your game console through your monitor but what ASRock's done is they've added an HDMI pass-through that allows you to use your computer to switch what is displayed on your monitor making it a more seamless experience than reaching around to the back of your computer and unplugging or plugging something in or even reaching up to your monitor to change the source input. So if running water over a motherboard while it's operating wasn't ridiculous enough for you, this right here is the Z87 Extreme 11 AC. It has wireless AC, it's got overclocking features, it supports up to four-way crossfire, so you can see that running right there, and it actually gets more ludicrous than that. So check out this. This is an SSD array, a massive number of SSDs, 22 SSDs, count them, four wide by five deep, and then an extra two that are sitting back there at the back, and I have something to share with you guys. These are all connected to the Z87 Extreme 11 AC right over here. So this is using the six SATA 3 six gigabit per second connectors that are provided by Intel's chipset. You actually can't really see them all unless you get right in there at that angle. So there are six coming straight out of the board and there are another 16 SAS 3 connectors running off of an LSI SAS 3 chip that is built into this motherboard. If you have a serious need for storage, don't think that you're limited to just SSDs. If you want to run 22 SATA 3 or 6 SATA 3 with 16 SAS 3 devices off of your board at the same time, for whatever reason, this is the only board that is even remotely capable of doing that.
But if you don't feel like building your own computer and pouring water all over it, then check out the M8 series right here. This is a new thing from ASRock. It's a DIY bare bones unit that is going to allow you to get that same ridiculously, ludicrously fast gaming experience that we've seen with some sort of, uh, you know, some boutique builders doing with something like the iBuy Power Revolt, for example, except that it's something that you can acquire yourself and you have the flexibility of choosing your own components and building it yourself as well. Now, you might have noticed that this is not exactly your standard run-of-the-mill bare-bones unit. It uses an aluminum chassis that was actually designed by BMW's design group, much like the Level 10 M mouse that's right here and the Level 10 M headset that are sitting right next to it. So wouldn't these make a stunning combination? The construction, as I said before, is aluminum and ventilation is handled by two 60-millimeter fans up here in the top. It's quite rugged feeling as well. I can actually pick the thing up by one of the handles and I don't have to worry too much about it breaking, making it extremely portable, and they've added some unique features as well. So here on the front, you've got USB 3 super speed and a slot load optical drive, as well as, this is kind of neat, check this out. So you can monitor things like your CPU clock speed as well as your time, and then you can interface with it with a simple push button interface as well as a rotating rubber knob with an LED backlight. Now let's go ahead and see how the magic works inside. So I'm going to turn it around the wrong way first, as if I don't know how this works. Check this out, magnets which are basically magic as far as I can tell. So there's a window on the back. How do you get away with putting a window on the back of a computer case? Well, I'll tell you how, by having extremely clean cable management. So the case comes cable managed for you pretty much. You don't have to worry about that and you can actually see the reinforcement that's on the motherboard tray here. I mean, it's one of Steve Jobs' design philosophies that a great device should look great not only on the outside but also on the inside. So having clean cable management really does show that attention to detail that not all all things achieve. The side window also has kind of a unique octagon based concentric octagons design that you'll either like or you'll dislike. Personally, I really like it. Moving on to the inside, we see very short cable runs, which again is a desirable feature. And we also see, check this out, that is a full-size graphics card. You could fairly easily run pretty much any graphics card you wanted in here, with the exception of sort of ludicrous stuff like a Radeon 7990, but you could easily get a GTX 780 in here. It uses an SFX power supply, but don't worry, that won't matter to you because it comes with that. It also uses an ITX motherboard that has onboard Wi-Fi, as well as support for up to two 8-gig DIMMs of DDR3 and support for pretty much any Intel CPU you'd want, as long as it's Haswell. So that's an LGA 1150 socket, so you're gonna wanna put the latest 4670K or 4770K CPU into the unit. So I can never remember this, so I'm gonna get my lovely assistant to come and tell me this. What do you actually have to add to this system in order to make it functional? Okay, users who buy this M8 series motherboard can have the freedom of choosing their own CPU and graphics card, or if they need more storage, then they can add more storage into the motherboard. So three things. Yeah, three things. So why couldn't I remember that? Uh, maybe because its appearances is too stunning. Yeah. I'm certainly stunned right now. So guys, don't miss any of our Computex 2013 coverage. Remember, our trip to the show this year is powered by Western Digital, as well as Corsair Vengeance Gaming Peripherals and NCIX.com. As always, guys, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed to Linus Tech Tips so you don't miss any of our video content.